it's a very good practice to mention the version of HTML. Now, like any other computer language, HTML also goes through versions. Now, the latest version is 5 at this time, meaning the beginning of the year 2024. But there's a possibility that in future HTML 6, 7 and later might come. Likewise, there was also HTML 4 before. Now, the reason we use talk type is to inform the browser the version of HTML that we are using. Now, this itself is not a HTML tag. This is pretty much to inform the browser the version of HTML that we are using. Now, let's look at this. This talk type HTML, this is to inform that this is a HTML5. Now, if it is a HTML4, you have to mention, so W3C is actually a standard for HTML. They say, if it is a HTML4, then this is how you should mention. Now, you have to say this URL or this standard. Now, the reason to mention this is to obviously inform the browser, the HTML version. Now just look at it. I mean, the data list tag, likewise, there are so many tags. Those were not available in the HTML4, but it are available in HTML5. Now let's say you have developed a, a HTML page or a website. I mean, you would develop somewhere around the 2000s. Now you're trying to use it now. So you, it's better to mention that it is HTML4 so that even now, uh, I mean, obviously the browser will believe that any document that you use might be HTML5 or latest. So it is better to say that it is HTML4 so that uh, it is future proofed, meaning even old code, old uh, features of HTML are future proofed. So to inform the browser, the HTML version that you're using and to future proof it so that it could also work with the old, uh, I mean, the old version HTML code should also work. The new uh, version of HTML uh, code should also work. You could also have a, a website with multiple pages. A few pages might be of HTML4 and a few might be of HTML5. So that. Um, might also happen. So it's always better to inform the HTML version that you're using.